Hey guys, so today I'll be talking about some mods, some games, and some upcoming stuff we might be able to expect out of the PlayStation 5 as well. And the very first story revolves around an iconic and monumentous task. A modder by the name of Patrick Lone on Nexus Mods is aiming to recreate the entire Witcher game, the very first one made by CG Project Red using Unreal Engine 4 so that it can be played in virtual reality headsets. So far, the project su supports Oculus, HTC, and Windows Mixed Reality headsets. However, it only features a single map, the iconic Karen Lauren Estate. All that said, he does aim to add more updates, more maps, and possibly a, a fully playable plot. But all of that is going to take time and, well, resources as well, possibly. Uh, while he hasn't asked for any, well, help is always going to be good for a, a project of this size and caliber as well. This next story revolves around the Gran Turismo series, a racing game that is exclusive to the PlayStation line of consoles. During an interview he had with GT Planet, Polyphony Digital CEO Kazunori Yamauchi suggested that the studio prioritize frame rates over display resolutions for the upcoming games. Which just goes to show that he's focusing more on the competitive racing aspects of the game rather than how shiny are all the pictures. So far, we know that the PlayStation 5 is going to be able to support up to 8K resolution when it launches holiday season this year. However, during the interview he says that 4K resolution is going to be plenty and wants to instead use the extra processing power from the GPU on increased frame rates. Not just stopping at 60 frames per second, but going as far as 240. Hmm. And while the controller built version of the game is going to be, well, decent, he wants to move forward and help Sony and PlayStation progress in the virt virtual reality race, as it were, by utilizing all the power that is capable in not just this generation of headset, but also the next one as well. So hopefully we can see a very, very well-built racing game launch right alongside the PlayStation VR version 2 when it does eventually launch. And the last story of the night revolves around Phil Spencer's view on virtual reality. And simply put, that is that he believes it to be too niche of a market in order to develop a headset for the upcoming console, the Xbox Series X, at this point in time, but rather wants to make this upcoming console far, far better than that of the Xbox One. However, he goes on as part of his rant, as part of his explanation, that he hopes that this technology does grow and does prove to be something that Microsoft and the Xbox brand can get behind in the future iterations of their of their console lines. And if you guys want to support me, blah blah, Facebook, blah blah, YouTube, yada yada. And if you guys want to support something a little bit bigger than me or YouTube or something a little bit more meaningful, you can do so by heading over to humblebundle.com. Personally, I picked up a, a very nice VR bundle earlier. Only ran me like 20 bucks. And honestly, not only was that a steal, but I was able to, to support the Call of Duty endowment, which strangely enough actually exists. But they support quite a few different charities throughout the months. Uh, one of them that you might be able to recognize would be the World Wild Wildlife Foundation as well as UNICEF. Those are just a couple of the many, many charities that they support and that you support just by buying those bundles from them. 
That link you can find in the description down below. And I'd just like to point out that no, they're not sponsoring me in any way. I just think it's really cool what they're doing. Because uh, it, it's, it's the closest, it's the best win-win scenario you're ever going to find. Well, one of them. 